Now new at 10 o'clock, a grieving mother turning her 14 year old son's murder into a call to action. She's determined to have the suspected killer charged as an adult. Our Michelle Nix joins us live with the details of this heartbreaking story. Michelle, you hate to hear this, but hoping that they find some justice. Yes, exactly, Jeff. Um, good evening. As you said, the Cleveland mother is determined to be her son's voice for an upcoming hearing when the 16 year old accused of killing him goes to court before a judge. And she says she's learned her son was shot 15 times. And I'm so mad that he got gunned down at 14. My son would have did something with his life and made a difference in this world. Sierra LaFleur tells me a piece of her died that day in November when she learned her son, 14-year-old Braylon Harges, was gunned down on 93rd and Edmonds. She's since learned from the medical examiner that Braylon was not only shot, but his body riddled with bullets. 15 times. A mother's heart broken because she says her son was a bright light in her life, always happy and crazy over football, but now will never have a chance to live a full life. I love him. I love my son to death. And I appreciate all the time I had when I'm on this earth. On February 14th at 1 p.m. in juvenile court, the 16-year-old accused of killing Braylon will go before a judge. LaFleur says she'll be there holding her son's urn, demanding that the teen suspect go on trial as an adult. We go back to court February the 14th, and I would love anybody and everybody's support. The person who did this to my son, I want him to get child as an adult, but right now it's in juvenile. I feel like 15 times was overkill. I want Ohio, you know, the laws to step up. He's 17, he'll be 17 on November, I mean, February the 14th. The Cleveland mother says she still doesn't know why the teen arrested for killing her son pulled the trigger. She's hoping one day the accused will tell her why. I'm still puzzled. So hopefully, throughout this whole case that this boy will open up and tell me something as a mother. LaFleur says because of gun violence, her son is now forever 14, a reality that brings her to tears nearly every day. The reality is I have to wake up and realize my son will never come home. Such a tragic story, and the mother is saying that she not only wants this teen charged as an adult for murdering her son, she also wants the court to require him to get counseling. Reporting live in Cleveland, Michelle Nix, 19 News.